Okay. Um, I'm going to be doing the interactive concept lab. Um, that is going to be for the magnets. Um, magnetic fluid. Uh, the theory behind ferrofluid. The term ferrofluid is a form of pyramid paramagnetic and fluid and is used to describe a liquid that is strongly magnetized by a magnetic field. This occurs because the fluid is composed of tiny magnetic particles up to 100 times smaller than the wavelength of a visible light. Ferro fluid is made up of tiny nanometer sized particles. Um, they're coated magnet to uh, suspended in a liquid. Um, it'll act like a fluid, like a liquid when there's no magnets around. The magnetic particles move freely in the fluid, but when there is a magnetic magnet nearby, the particles are temporarily magnetized. Laser, I'm going to be using um, toner for this, laser printer toner. It contains a substance called magnetite, which is a mixed iron oxide, uh, the chemical formula Fe3O4. Um, it does contain a property of magnetic attraction. Uh, ferrofluid is a liquid that is attracted to the poles of a magnet. Ferrofluids are composed of very small nanoscale particles. Ferrofluids are colloidal suspensive iron oxide nanoparticles. Um, they can either be aqueous or non-aqueous liquids that exhibit strong magnetic properties. Going further, these magnet properties allow ferrofluids to be manipulated and controlled when exposed to magnetic fields. Uh, magnetic fluid or ferro fluid is a fluid that is strongly magnetized by a magnetic field, which means the fluid behaves as a magnet in presence of an external magnet. Um, for my video, I'm going to be demonstrating a laser printer toner uh, being dispersed into vegetable oil. A toner generally contains the carbon and iron oxides. These iron oxide particle size should be very small. Um, they're going to be less than 10 nanometers. Um, the particles are going to be dispersed in oil, making a colloidal suspension called ferrofluid fluid or magnetic fluid. Um, once a magnetic field is applied to a ferrofluid, fluid, the nanoparticles are attracted and pull the entire liquid towards the magnetic field. That means, um, when a magnet is placed towards the liquid, the tiny particles are going to move in a colloidal suspension and act like these tiny magnets. Um, it'll be in a variety of different shapes. This is uh, because water or even vegetable oil has a low viscosity and provides very little resistance. Uh, for my demonstration now, I'm going to be pouring tuner into the liquid of 50 millimeters. Um, I'm going to be pouring two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to stir it until you have a thin consistency and you need to ensure that this uh, substance is not too thick. Um, if it's too thick, it's not going to work properly. And then with my magnet, you are going to see little needle-like figures arise. Okay, so this is a container I'm going to be putting it in. My turner. My vegetable oil. This is poured in here. And yeah, and now I'm going to be mixing this. Consistency. Um, it's a magnet I have. I don't have another form of a magnet, so this, this here. Yeah. Um, I 
think that my demonstration uh, kind of demonstrated it. However, the only flaws that I think I do have in my experiment is because my magnet is on plastic and I cannot take this apart. Uh, overall though, this did demonstrate fair fluids at how there is an outcome of mixing these substances together in relation to having a magnet. Thank you.